Wow, what a surprise. It is raining once again in Tallahassee, and we are playing NC State. They are 5-1, and one, we are 4-2, and, and we're looking to get back into the win column. It's going to be a tough one here in the rain in Tallahassee. Can we pull off a victory? Watch until the end so you don't miss out. We are ready for football. Here's a snap from Knight. And over to the right side, and they get a yard from that. Okay, can't off. Throw to the right side. Oh, we have to make a stop there. Third and two for NC State. Under pressure. Throwing to the right side. Out of bounds. And NC State will punt. Here we go. Starting our offensive drive. Handoff to the right side. Off tackle is OP. He's going to shed a tackle. He's down. Two around past midfield. I'm telling you, that play is overpowered. We're going to run again. Down the sideline, and that's going to be a touchdown. Two plays, and we are up 7-0. 47-yard touchdown. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Here's a snap to Devin. Looking to pass. Almost intercepted. Here we go. Third down and nine. NC State looking to convert. Almost sacked. And we will get the ball again. Another three and out for NC State. First down once more. Handoff again to the right. Finally stopped us. Second and 12 now. Travis will keep himself over to the left side. Starting the second quarter here in Tallahassee. Third and long. Here we go, Travis looking to pass. Oh, under pressure to the right side. Ah, uh, let's go for it. Come on, boys. Step up and make a play, someone. Oh, make a catch, Andrew. Oh, my gosh. We almost converted. We were one yard short. You know... I would go for it again and again from there. It's okay. Here we go. NC State has a ball. Our first four and out. Larry looking to pass over to the left or the right side. It's intercepted. Brownlee shuts the tackle. He's down the field. Down to the 20. We are in command. Their quarterback and their offense can't do anything. Here's the handoff to the right side. All right. Third and 11 for us. Looking to convert. Can throw to Andrew over here. Over to the left side. Oh. Last week, I regretted not taking my points on one of the drives. If I took the points, we could have won that game. Today, we're actually going to take the points and see. Oh, my gosh. We miss it. All right. For once, I should have gone for it. Well, I was going to say, hopefully, we make it. And that is the reason we win. But, all right. NC State gets the ball back. Throwing, oh, instantly to the right side. Incomplete. Either their offensive line sucks or their quarterback sucks. Or maybe a little bit of both. Here we go. Third down for NC State. Looking to pass over to the right. And they will not convert. Second down and 11 now. Trying to score at least a field goal before halftime. Maybe not field goal after what happened last time. Play action. Looking to pass over to the right. Ah, uh, not thrown good enough. Here we go. Play action. Looking to pass under pressure. And he's going to throw to the right side. That's the first first down of the game, I believe. All we have to do is make a stop here. They'll use their final timeout, and then we need another stop. So basically, two more stops. Here we go. Fake handoff. Running to the left side. Here we go. 18 seconds. Third and goal. Handoff. Oh, it's a pitch. It's a pitch. Oh, my gosh. They tricked us. They did a really good job on that play. Well, loss of two from the off tackle. We're going to try again. I know, I'm crazy. Eight seconds. It's whatever if we don't do anything. Here we go. There we go. We got some blocks. That's a first down and more. He is going to go all the way. That's going to be a touchdown to the end of the first half. Oh, my goodness. 89 yards. Lawrence. Wow. They kept... Stopping us from that play. And I kept using that play. And finally, it works out yet again. That play is overpowered. And we are heading into halftime in rainy Tallahassee. What a game so far. Oh my goodness. We got a good one. 14-7. to Who's going to come out on top? Oh, and by the way, we get the ball to start the second half. So that touchdown was big. I did not expect that. Hand off again to the right side. Ah, uh, Corbin. Well, just like that, third and 15. Got to convert here. Looking to pass. Looking up the middle. Almost intercepted. Yikes. 
And NC State starts with the ball about midfield here in the second half. There we go. He's going to take it himself and he's going to be brought down for a loss of one. There we go. Third down. Big defensive drive here in the second half. Passing to the left side and that's completed. Jake cannot make the tackle. He's down the sideline to the 10. 45 yards. Oh boy. Now if we can make a stop here, that would be insane. Second down and goal. Kimby takes it up the middle. Ooh. Zero yard rush. We almost stopped them there, but regardless, tie back up. There we go. Travis gets a snap. Look at a pass. Over to the left. All right. I'll take it. 0 for 3 on third down. Third down and 1. It's going to be an option play. Travis keeps it himself. That's good for a first down and more. He's down the field. We got blocks. Travis into the space. Touchdown. Jordan Travis takes it himself on third and 1. There we go, baby. 70 yard rush. Jordan Travis. No one could catch him. And here's the game summary. It's been neck and neck this whole game, and it's crazy. I mean, there are some categories we're better in, some categories they're doing better in. But overall, it's a close game. 21-14, anyone's game still. Our defense needs to make a stop here. Let's have a finally a blowout, possibly. Here we go. Need to make a tackle first, though. That's a first down. Our defense has to stop them. Quarterback. Rolling out to the right. He has all day. Someone make a tackle. Under two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. Second down and two. NC State knocking on the door. Hand off. Oh my gosh. Their QB takes it himself. Touchdown. All right. Tied up once again. We're going to do another option play. The same one Jordan scored on. And they're ready for it this time. Absolutely have to convert here. Come on guys. Third and 14. Jordan, look at the pass over the middle, wide open. Let's go. All right. Time taken down. Just over a minute left in the game. Play action. Look at the pass under pressure to the right side. It's intercepted. Are you joking? Someone make a stop. No. You have to be kidding me. That might have cost us the game. I have a feeling they might go for it, even if they don't get it here. Third and three, 48 seconds left. Got to make a stop. Come on, boys. And off to the right side. We'll let it happen. One timeout. 45 seconds. We can do this. I'm risking the game by doing off tackle again. Here's a handoff. To the right side. Someone make some stops. Come on. Hold them off. That really killed us right there. We needed blocks. We didn't get them. Here we go. Jordan. Look at the pass. Looking over to the right side. Wilson. Please. Oh. I did not mean to call a screen here. It's fourth and seven. We got to convert. We have to convert. Jordan looking to pass over the middle. Helton holds on. He's got space. Come on. Hurry up offense. We have like one shot for the end zone. I accidentally did. I don't even know what play this is. Someone make a play. Someone make a play here. Come on. Oh, Jordan, you better start making throws. Play action. Look at the pass. Looking deep. Wilson holds on! Eight seconds! Here we go. Quick snap. Look at a pass. End zone! McDonald catches it! Touchdown! Four seconds! Are you kidding me? There's magic here in Tallahassee! Oh boy, NC State trying to ice the kicker. Oh my gosh, please no. Please no. It's up! And it is good! We're heading into overtime here in Tallahassee. NC State is going to choose heads. It is tails. FSU starts with the ball first. Travis, look at a pass. Looking for the end zone. Corner of the end zone. What's it makes the grab? Walk off here in Tallahassee. One play in overtime is all it takes. From Jordan, Travis to Wilson. My bad. I'm so stupid. I'm used to the NFL rules. Here we go. NC State has an opportunity now. Defense, step up. Come on, boys. Defense, under pressure. Almost intercepted. Oh, boy. This is going to get crazy. I, I don't know the college football overtime rules. I'll admit that. First and goal for NC State. Look at the pass. Under pressure. Touchdown. All right. They have another opportunity. No one told me this. What's happening? This is not fair. No. No, please. Please, God, no. 
It better not come down to that. Here we go. Look at the pass. Over to the right. He got it. He got away. Not first down, though. Oh, boy. I think this is for the win. I could be mistaken. This could be for the win. College kickers miss. Please tell me he's going to miss it. He made it. Is that the game? I'm almost sure that's... Oh, okay. Third and eight. Let's just walk it off. Please, guys. Jordan and Travis, make a play. Someone make a play. Play action. Look at the pass. Over to the right or the left. Andrew holds on. This is for the game. Come on, Jordan. Make a play. Someone. Someone get open. Jordan Travis. Oh, my gosh. Gotta get a first down. Passing over to the right. Fourth and two. Do we risk it? We have to just kick the field goal. There's no way we're going to risk it. Tied up. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, we get another offensive drive. I don't know what this play is, but it glowed and it made a sound. So that's why I chose it. Is it any good? We'll find out. No, it's trash. Off tackle time. It works all the time. Let's do it in, in overtime. Hand off to the right side. We got good blocks to the outside. Oh, come on. I, I really am terrified. We need three yards. Please, Lawrence, be the savior. He got the first. Here we go. Second down and 12 now. Another option. Oh, Jordan breaks the tackle. Almost in. On fourth and one, we have to go for it. Absolutely have to go for it. Where's the play? The, 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 the. I can't find the play. Someone. No, Jordan. Why are you taking forever to snap it? I didn't realize I had a timeout. We have to kick a field goal now. Oh my god. Kick is up. It's good. 41-38. Oh my gosh. We need to make a stuff once and for all. No, that's going to be a touchdown. Is that the game? That's the game. We lose on a touchdown. I really don't know what to say. That was that was tough. Oh my gosh. 44 to 41. One of the craziest games I've ever played after Maryland. Man, I, I really don't know what to say about that loss. Jordan Travis was 11 for 26, 166 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Once again, interceptions killed us. Rushing. Oh my gosh, look at Lawrence. 11 for 171 yards, two touchdowns. Jordan Travis was 7 for 72 in a TD. Oh my gosh. Receiving. Helton did good. 4 for 68. Andrew, 2 for 26. Touchdown for Wilson and touchdown for McDonald. And defensively, how did we do? No sacks? I'm actually shocked. One interception from Jarvis. Tackle for loss. We only had two tackles for loss. What an insane game. You know, it's never easy to lose. And in overtime, by a field goal, that's always the worst. What a tough game. And next up, we got Miami. We have a lot going on. Michael Wallace, five-star halfback, has committed. We have another recruit ready to visit. In recruiting battle with Jim Evans, Anthony Fields. We have a scheduled visit with Mark. Recruiting battle with Robbie McGee. Another visit with Will. Ben Mitchell has locked us out, and we are in a battle for Brian Bridges. Next up, we have another big rival, Miami. This one is going to be crazy, I believe. We are home for this one. We are both 4-3 and three on the season, so it should be a lot of fun. It should be a really even matchup. It should be a back-and-forth nail-biter. Hey, guys. Welcome back to some more FSU Dynasty. I'm actually feeling worse with COVID, so I'm not going to be doing any commentary in this video, but I hope you guys enjoy. This week, we have Miami, one of the toughest teams. I know they're 4-3, and three, but it's going to be just like the Clemson game. I feel like this one is going to be very difficult. Let's go out. Let's go back into the wind calm and let's get this W.
Under review. After, After review, review of the play, the ruling on the field, field is reversed. reversed. Not only we beat a rival, but we shut them out at home. I know only 7 nothing, but what a crazy defense performance on both sides. 5 for 16 from Jordan Travis, 87 yards, no interceptions, no touchdowns though. He had an all right game on rushing though. I mean, that's where we did really good. Corbin stepped up today, 65 yards. It was definitely a down game compared to the last couple. Jordan Travis, 10 for 29 with a TD he carried this offense today as far as receiving two for 39 from andrew one for 11 from corbin helton was one for 23 and wilson one for 14 and defensively we had two total sacks we had a interception by somebody but i guess it didn't count for some reason and then a bunch of tackles all the way around i mean gant was incredible today two tackles for loss a sack and a deflection as well as three solo sacks. What a game. Oh boy, Robbie McGee commits to the team. Ben Mitchell locked us out. We are still fighting for Brian Bridges. Will has visited the school in 540 points. Awesome to see. We have more recruiting battles here. Herbert committed to Notre Dame. Recruit is ready to visit and a right end visited. We have so much, there's still more. Are you kidding me? And since all of these players are ready to visit, we'll go ahead and have them scheduled. And here are the battles that we got. Brian Bridges, Jem Evans, Ray Mack, which I'm actually shocked that we're in the battle for him. He was like set stone on us. Anthony Fields and um, apparently Walter Clark and Hayson which are two guys that I haven't really touched. But we'll go ahead and do some more recruiting in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe down below. Coming off a big victory against Miami. We are now heading to Wake Forest to play the Wake Forest Demons. We're looking to continue our win streak. And this time we're looking for a big upset on the road. Can we get it done? Here we go. We start with the ball in this game. We're going to hand it off to Corbin to the right side. Corbin has space and he's got six yards to start it. Third down and one looking to convert. Look at a pass. Jordan is going to pass to the left side into coverage. Almost intercepted. And we're going to go for it. We're past midfield. And if we want to win, we got to make some crazy decisions. Fourth down and one. Hand off to the left side. 
Oh my gosh, a loss of one. I had an opening, just could not get there. Second down, Hartman hands it off. Over to the red side, only two yards. Third down and eight for Wake Forest. Fake handoff, and the quarterback is gonna be sacked. It's Gant was the sack. Loss of two, fourth and 11. We will get the ball back. Now we get the ball back, looking to pass Jordan Travis. He's gonna throw it downfield deep. Helton is wide open. He's gonna catch it, touchdown. One play, 62 yards, and just like that, we will take the lead. What a throw from Jordan Travis to the wide open wide receiver. First play of the second half coming up. Quarterback is gonna keep it himself. He's got space. He's got the first down and more down to about midfield. Now second down, QB takes it himself over to the left side and he's finally gonna be brought down after a 15 yard rush. Second down and two for Wake Forest. Hartman looking to pass over to the right. First down. A big third down and nine before the half. Here we go, Hartman looking past. He's going to shed one sack, but he's going to still be sacked. It's love it was a sack. And they will go for it in a spot where I expected a field goal. Fourth down and 17 minute before the half. Or take the delay. No, they're going to snap the ball. Looking past over to the right side. Turnover. 45 seconds. Let's do something. Should I have called a timeout in that spot? Maybe. We will see if that matters. Look at the pass. Jordan, gonna air it downfield deep. Helton is gonna hold on again. 30 seconds before the half. Look at the pass. Helton is wide open. He's gonna make the catch and he's gonna get tackled from behind. Making a two point game or two possession game, I should say. And we will. Lord's in for the touchdown. And we will take a two touchdown lead right before the half. Oh my gosh. For some reason, they're having us go for it. Why are they making us go for a two point conversion? I'm actually very confused here. Look at a pass. Looking for the end zone. Did we get it? No, we did not. This should be the last play of the first half. 13 0. Hartman looking to change that. Looking for the end zone. Another deflection. And that's the end of the first half. Wait for us to have the ball to start the second half. And the QB is going to lose a yard to start. Third down and seven. Looking to pass over to the right side. It is deflected. Jay has space down the sideline and he's tackled from behind. Oh my gosh, that could have been a big return. Jordan gets a snap, look at a pass. Looking over to the right side, Andrew's wide open. He sheds a tackle, he's down the field, 23 yards. Here we go, now third down and short. Looking to convert, looking over to the left. Helton is not able, oh, they're gonna call it a fumble. That is not good. Oh boy. I thought he dropped that, but Wake Forest gained some momentum. Here we go. 35 seconds before the fourth quarter. Hartman looking to pass. He's going to keep himself. And he's going to be brought down. Almost the fourth quarter. Should get at least one more snap off. Hartman looking to pass under pressure. And he's going to fumble the ball. Johnson recovers. FSU has a ball back. And just like that, we are looking to keep this game out of reach from Wake Forest. Travis keeps it himself. Loss of three. We're going to run the ball a lot. Here we go. Corbin gets a snap. He's going to run. And he's going to lose three as well. I know we're only up by 13. It's kind of risky, but I trust this team. Here we go. Got to have some good blocks. Hand off to the right side. That's good for a first down. Oh my gosh, just barely. Here we go, second down and goal. Hand off to the right side, needs some good blocks. Lawrence sheds one tackle and he will lose three. And we're gonna be crazy. We're going for it again here on fourth down. Someone get open. Here we go, Travis looking to pass over to the left side. Helton, hold on please. Helton has been so good today and then he drops it. 13-0, minute 54, 
Here we go. Hartman looking pass over to the left side. It is now third and nine. Here we go. Hand off up the middle. Loss of two. Time taking down. Hartman looking pass over to the right side. It is completed for a first down. Hartman looking to pass under pressure. Throwing to the left side. Almost intercepted. And he's going to be brought down five yard. Hurry up offense now. They're basically waving a white flag. 40 seconds and counting. Hartman looking to pass. He's going to fumble the ball. Wake Forest will recover. And we're going to try for a touchdown. 35 seconds. Why not? Here we go. Jordan Travis looking to pass over to the right side. Helton holds on. Touchdown, Florida State. Helton has been on fire, and he redeems himself. Hurry up offense. Six seconds. What are they doing? This is going to be probably their last play. Four seconds. Time is ticking down. Quarterback is under pressure, and they drop it. That's how the game ends. Travis was 9 for 14, two touchdowns. He was pretty good. No interceptions once again. This was his best game ever all season. Rushing. We really couldn't run the ball much. But Lawrence was 5 for 9 with a touchdown. Receiving is where we did really good. Keyshawn Helton. Definitely the player of the game. 5 for 156 in two touchdowns. He did have two drops though. But those touchdowns definitely redeemed himself. And I mean defensively. We had a total of four sacks. That was absolutely very needed. And we had a bunch of tackles for loss as well. And just like that, we moved to six and three on the season. We have another commit. Andrew Fisher commits. We have another recruit ready to visit. Two guys lock us out. And in the next game, we are facing Syracuse. That should be a good one. Let's take a look at recruiting. We have a huge lead on Brian Bridges. We should be able to get him. Jim Evans still fighting for him against Clemson, Miami, Florida, and USF. Ray Mack might go to Miami. And this is our new tight end, 67 overall. It'll be good to develop him, and we'll see how that works out. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Florida State Seminoles Dynasty. We are playing Syracuse in this game. It should be a lot of fun. We are back home and ready to go. Looking to improve to 7-3 on the season. Before we get into the game though, let's get into some recruiting. I added some new people to the board. Alright, so I added some more recruits. We got Luke Hunter. We put 100 points into him. We got defensive ends Rob Alexander and Tyler Bates. We put some points into them as well. We have Tim Garcia and Mike Barber. Two wide receivers that we're going after. Of course we also have brian bridges that we most likely will get we have another running back reggie woods we put some points into him and of course we're still trying to get ray mac if we cannot get him daniel stanley is another option we will start with the ball here in tallahassee we're gonna hand it off the first play over to the right side corbin has space and he's got six yards here we go third down and four gotta convert looking pass Wilson is open, and that's good for a first. And we will do some hurry up offense to hopefully catch them off guard. Here we go. First down again. Travis under pressure, and he's going to be sacked. All right. Caught myself off guard there. Second down in 17. Hand off up the middle. Corbin got space, and he'll gain a couple yards back. Oh, so we're being told to go for it. I kind of agree. Fourth down in three, but we've seen it before. I'm crazy. And sometimes it works. Look at a pass over to the right. Hilton. No. I mean, Syracuse is getting the ball where they would have anyway if we punted, probably. So it's not a big deal, honestly. Here we go. And off up the middle. Loss of three. Not only we almost sacked the QB, but off of the deflection, we almost got an incredible interception. Maybe a pick six. Here we go. Third down and 13. Look at a pass under pressure. He's going to be brought down great defense that's why i felt confident enough to go for it in that spot i knew our defense could hold them off and they did here we go first down travis looking to pass looking up the middle helton or no it was wilson either way 29 yards 
Second down and six. Travis looking to pass, looking for the end zone. Off tackle here, third and six. If we don't get it, we'll go ahead and just go for our field goal here. Here we go, here's a handoff to the right side. We got blocked, we got the first down, and we got the touchdown. Lawrence in for the touchdown, and we will take the lead early. Syracuse needs to put it together because they have not been dominant. I mean, neither have we, but we put together some great drives. Here we go, Schrader looking to pass. Under pressure, he sheds one tackle, and he's going to get a first down. Wow. Under a minute and a half before halftime. Here we go, Schrader looking to pass. Under pressure, somehow gets the ball away. Jackson is wide open. He's down the field, and that's going to be a touchdown on what should have been a sack. Oh, my goodness. We have one minute. We have all three timeouts. If we plan this good enough, we should be able to score again. Here we go. Jordan looking to pass. Looking. Helton is wide open. He makes the catch. And we're going to retake the lead. Helton, 77 yards. One play. There we go, baby. Oh, my. Keyshawn Helton still getting wide open. Schrader looking to pass. He's going to scramble to the right side, and he's got a first down. I mean, with the way we just scored, I'm not I'm not that scared if they tie it up. Schrader looking to pass, scrambling to the right. Almost brought him down, and he's going to slide down. Third and four have to hold them to at least a field goal. Even from here, it would be kind of tough, I feel like. Here we go, Schrader. Hand off up the middle, and we're going to stop them. Will they go for a field goal? We're going to call a timeout either way. They're going to go for it. Here we go. We got to make a stop here. Fourth and two for Syracuse. Hand off. Again up the middle. And they get nothing out of it. You better believe that we are doing a vertical play here. Hilton on the right side should be able to get wide open. Looking. Looking. Hilton. Get free. Hilton is free. Got two guys. It's going to be intercepted. Oh, man. Yeah, someone bring him down about midfield. Such a risk there. I thought I could I, I thought I could get away with that. And they're gonna quickly snap it. Last play before the half, he's just gonna throw it away. Two for six, 75 yards in a TD. We are heading into halftime. We really should be winning by more than a touchdown. But I will take this 14 to 7. We have a great game here in Tallahassee. They're going to fumble it on the kickoff. Oh, my gosh. And they're going to start with the ball around the 10-yard line. Potentially could get a pick six or something big there. Here we go. QB takes himself, and he's going to lose more. Third and 12. Come on, defense. Make a stop. Here we go. Passing up the middle. Someone make a tackle. Oh, they're going to get first down. Are you joking me? The way that Syracuse has been moving the ball is in little spurts and their QB is right away under pressure passing to the right oh what a big hit on sean tucker they are one for three on third down now third down and seven syracuse looking to convert passing to the left he's wide open again jackson has been killing us 29 yards first down pass midfield now for syracuse QB takes it himself again. He's got an open space. He's going to shed a tackle. Jay's going to finally bring him down. A 30-yard rush. This QB is killing us right now. And they're about to tie things up before the fourth quarter unless we make a massive stop. Looks like it's going to be a run up the middle. No, it's going to be a pass. QB takes off, though, and he's going to be sacked. Second out and goal. We'll see if they snap it before the next quarter. Here we go. Handoff to the right. Or not a handoff. QB takes it himself, and there we go. Syracuse ties it up before the fourth quarter. We got to play better. Come on, guys. We are here in the fourth quarter. We got a good game going on. We're looking for Helton here. He's wide open again. He's got one man to miss. Oh, my gosh. You have to catch that. All of a sudden, we're dropping the ball. This is unacceptable. We're going to do off tackle. See if we can gain any yardage here. And they're going to meet us right away. We're going to lose yards. We have to play like the first half. Otherwise, we're going to lose this game. We can't. We just can't. Come on. Come on, guys. All right, throw away. Absolutely have to force these throwaways. 
Make some stops. Here we go. QB. He's going to fall forward. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Third and one. Under two minutes remaining. Got to get a big stop. Hand off to the left. First down. Time is ticking down. We have to get stop. Just over a minute remaining. Third and three. QB takes it up the middle himself. And he's not going to get the first down. Call timeout. Let's go. They will kick a field goal to try and take the lead with a minute 11 left. Make it 17-14 here. Fourth and one. Here's a kick. It is up. It is good. And they will take their first lead of the game. All we have to do is get within field goal range. We have to be careful. I know it's four verticals, but we have to be careful. Come on. Helton, get open. Get open. Helton holds on. Let's go. All right. One minute remaining. Another crazy game here in Tallahassee. Looking for the sideline here from Wilson. Looking to pass over to the right. It's intercepted. Oh, no. I think I threw it too soon there. And just like that, we might have just lost. They're going to hand it off, though. We'll call timeout. And that's going to be the game. We really should have won this game. We won it in the first half. But Syracuse came back and beat us by a field goal. Yeah, I'm not happy with this. I mean, Jordan Travis did great. 5 for 12, 168 yards, a touchdown. It's the interceptions, man. Without those, we could have won this game. Rushing, I mean, we couldn't really run the ball much. Lawrence was all right. So was Corbin. I mean, 4 for 24, not bad, but Jordan couldn't run it. Receiving Helton was incredible. Back-to-back -back weeks where... He was literally the player of the game. He carried this offense today. I mean, three for 129 and a touchdown. Again, two drops. He needs to stop dropping the ball, but man, I mean, he was just amazing. I mean, one for 29 from Wilson, not bad. And defensively, we did all right. We had two total sacks. I don't think we really forced a turnover. And we had a decent amount of tackles. It was just a tough game. I mean, we really should have won that. Yeah, I hate losing a lot, especially going win, lose, win, lose like this. It really sucks. It really, really does. We're 6-4 and four on the season, and we lost to a team that I feel like isn't as good as us. I mean, we really won that in the first half, but in the second half, our defense just couldn't hold them off for the life of us, and we barely moved the ball at all in that second half. That was just brutal. But Brian Bridges has committed we have a five-star wide receiver that is incredible news will has committed to rutgers university interesting we're still fighting for anthony field uh david king has committed to arizona state got a recruit locking us out jacob dunn is ready to visit mike has committed to oklahoma i believe that is a brand new running back that we just started to scout so that sucks to see. And we have another two ready to visit this week. Teddy William and Luke Hunter. And in the next week, we are playing App State. I mean, again, this is a team that we need to be and we should be. This is a team that we really should win against. So I just started adding points to some random players and just kind of playing 20 here and there. We still have a lot of points. I'm going to offer some people some scholarships while i'm at it but that's gonna do it for recruiting for this week we have a lot of points still into some players a lot of them are low stars and low overalls but we still have four star jim evans and i believe another four star anthony fields those are the two main guys that we're trying to get but that's gonna do it for this video we need to come away with a big victory against app state because man i i just hate losing and we're on the road and it would be painful to lose to another team that's barely 500 i mean the last team was four and five app state is five and five we can't lose coming off a very tough loss against syracuse we're now playing app state and we are home as well we cannot lose to app state they're five and five on the season let's see if we can get victory here at home here we go. We will start with the ball in this game, and we're going to hand it off to Corbin. He's got a couple yards to start things off. We'll go ahead and hand it off here on second down. Corbin cannot get to the outside. Loss of two. Here we go. Third down in the long for FSU. 
Travis looking to pass. Looking. He's wide open. Andrew catches it. And that's going to be a touchdown. 50 yards on third down and long. I was not expecting us to convert there, let alone a touchdown. But it was wide open. I'm not sure what happened to the scoreboard. So that could become a problem later in the game if it stays like that. And the quarterback is going to run into a sack. Yeah, I tried my best to reset the scoreboard. I don't want to restart the game. So we're just going to have to deal with it and see what happens. Here we go. Jordan looking pass over the middle. Wilson is open. First down. Now, I believe second down. Oh, boy. I already don't know. Jordan will keep it himself. He's got blocks. He had space there. But he's going to be brought down six yards. Seven to nothing. We are in the lead and we have control of this game. I mean, our defense was dominant the first drive. Offense was dominant. It's already dominant again. And there we go. The scoreboard is back. Serves the second quarter. The scoreboard is back. <laughs> That's good to see. We're going to throw to Helton. He's wide open over the middle. Oh, my goodness. We're going to try that again. As long as he can beat the guys on the left we should be able to get him open look at a pass for the end zone yikes should not have thrown that that was wait that was forced down oh my gosh i would have gotten for a field goal or something if i knew that app state has a ball qb running to the outside he's got space he's down in the field into the open 34 yards Alrighty, just like that, App State is moving the ball. I don't like this at all. We saw this last week. Hand off to the left. Negative three. Let's go. Our defense needs to make a stop here. We can't play this bad against a bad team. Third and four for App State now. Here we go. Look at a pass. Under pressure. Throw it away. And we should get the ball back. And they will go for it. I mean, I don't blame them. They're past midfield. Smart decision. Here we go. Fourth down and four. Let's make another stop. QB looking to pass. He's going to scramble and throw on the run. And we will get the ball back. They will start with the ball in the second half. So another touchdown here would be awesome. Here we go. Third down and one. We'll have to run if needed. Throwing to the right side. Wilson is wide open. First down. Here we go. Second down and 16 now. Looking to pass for Hilton. He made the grab and held on. Just keep on getting these first downs. We're going to hand it up the middle. Come on. I need some blocks. Stop running into the guys. Oh, boy. We can't make a mistake in the red zone. We just can't. Third down and one. Got to score here. We're going to hand it off to the right side. Oh, come on. And we're being told to go for it. I'm just scared in this spot. Because it gives them the opportunity to score not only before, but after the half as well. Fourth down at six. 33 seconds remaining before halftime. Looking to pass up the middle. Andrew is there. First down. All right. Jordan, play action. Looking to pass over to the left. McDonald makes a grab. Shuts a tackle. Pushes its way in for the touchdown. Cameron McDonald. What an effort. And just like that, we score again before the half. Again, just take a look at this replay. Right here, he should have been tackled. Bounces off the tackle and just pushes his way in. 14 seconds to score. I don't see it happening from App State. They got to get lucky. Here we go. Look at a pass. Just throw it away. All right. By the way, their QB starting 0 for 5 on the game. 7 seconds left. Third down. This is a big spot for our defense to step up. Pressure on the QB. He's going to complete it. That's a first down. Oh, my gosh. They're going to narrow it downfield. We got to be ready. Here we go. QB looking to pass. Over to the right side. Broken up. Almost intercepted. By the way, one for seven, 20 yards. And that's the end of the first half. Playing as we should against a 5-5 five and five team. It's 14 nothing, Shutting out App State. Second down and nine. Fake handoff, looking to pass over to the right side. That's completed. 14 yards, and they're moving downfield quick. And I just realized I haven't had the crowd in the background. That's my bad. Here we go. First down, pass midfield. App State trying to score here. Handoff to the right. They gain nothing. A big defensive stop would be wonderful. Third and five, passing to the left. 
and we stop them. Oh my gosh. And they're going to go for it again. Another spot where you kind of have to. A minute 13 left in the third quarter. Fourth and two. Got to make a stop. Come on, boys. Here we go. Here's a snap. Looking to pass up the middle. It's incomplete. Turnover on downs. And we get the ball back. Play action. Looking to pass over to the left side. Wilson cannot catch it. A unreachable game for App State. Travis looking to pass. Uh, I have nothing open. I have nothing open. I can't throw it away either. That's a loss of 13. Oh my gosh. I've not given up an interception. Knock on wood. I don't want to make a mistake here on third and long. Let's see what happens. Travis looking to pass. I'm going to throw it downfield deep. Oh my gosh. I thought we had a step there. Exactly what I love to see. A great punt and a penalty sets him up at the 23 handoff up the middle. Gain of only three. Here we go. Second down and seven. And there's a flag. False start. False start. Even better. Let's go. Keep racking up those flags. They're going to be doing a lot of hurry up offense here in the fourth. Have to. Here we go. Look at the pass. He's going to start scrambling. Gant can't catch him. No one can catch him. Finally, he needs to put the ball on the ground. They will recover. I mean, they're just dominating us already here in the fourth quarter. Where was this earlier? I mean, I'm glad it wasn't happening earlier. Here we go. QB on the run. He is going to fall short of the first. Oh, my gosh. One for four on third down. It's third and inches. They should get this. But our defense has been so good. We have to stop them here. Here we go. Fake handoff, play action. He's going to run. He's going to throw into Gant. Fourth and inches. Obviously have to go for it. Down by two, a minute 47 left. Tight spot here. Fourth and seven. Why are you throwing the ball? They're going to hand it off over to the left side and we make a stop. Peoples is going nowhere. Loss of two. All right, third down and 12. Looking to convert here. Looking for Andrew over the middle. It's intercepted. He bumped the defender. And that is a difference maker. You cannot blame me for that. Him bumping into the defender. I had to make a throw. Here we go. Minute and a half left. QB under pressure. Throwing over to the left. 0 for 3 on fourth down. Just under a minute left. Under pressure right away. Throwing to the left side. Once again, another stop. I'm disgusted that they are anywhere near the total yards that we have. I mean, that's sad. Look at the pass. Jordan is going to air it out. Andrew makes the catch. That's game over. I mean, it already was, basically. We're looking for Helton here. He's got to get open. And it looks like he will, but I can't throw in time to get open. Oh, over to the right side. He's wide open. It's going to be intercepted, though. I, I hate that the two interceptions were stupid. 37 seconds. App State still going to lose. And, yeah, especially when they can't catch. Last play of the game. They're looking to avoid at least a shutout here in Tallahassee, which I don't think they can avoid. Here we go. Looking to pass. Under pressure. Throwing into coverage. Incomplete. And FSU gets a victory and we needed that and that's how you're supposed to play against a five and five team i know the two interceptions ignore that two touchdowns 177 yards 10 for 21 jordan travis was great three sacks there were a couple times where i just didn't have time i ran down the sideline rushing we really could not run the ball i mean travis five for negative 29 Corbin, 5 for 14. Receiving, though. This is where we did good. Andrew, 4 for 100. Hilton, 1 for 22. McDonald, getting involved, 2 for 21 with a TD. And defensively, we did pretty good. Only one sack, though, from Jermaine Johnson. Couple tackles for loss. No interceptions. Not a bad game, though. We really needed that win. And next up, we have one of the biggest games of the year. Number 15 
Florida. This is going to be a lot of fun. And Jim Evans has officially committed. I absolutely love to see that. And we're still fighting for Anthony Fields. We got a couple guys that committed, ready to visit, and locked us out. But overall, what a great game. What a great win. And again, another big commit. Here we go. We need to be disciplined this game and we have to play our best. We are in the swamp playing the 10 and 1 Florida Gators. Oh boy. That's that's literally all I can say is oh boy. This one should be good. Welcome back to more Florida State Dynasty. We are ready for a tough game here in Gainesville, Florida. Should be a good one. Stick around and see if we can beat down the Florida Gators and pull off a massive upset. The Battle of Florida right here. Here in Gainesville, you can see all of the momentum going to the Gators. Hand off to the right side. Started things off with a big run. Almost a first down. Let's go. We're going to do some hurry up. We're going to do everything in our power to win this game. Oh my gosh, we can't see our players. This is gonna be tough. Jordan Travis looking past. He's gonna air the ball downfield deep. Wilson comes back. He makes the catch. Oh my gosh. Here we go. First down past midfield. The Gators have to be stunned right now. Still all the momentum to the Gators. The crowd is going nuts. Looking to pass over the middle. Wide open McDonald. Cannot hold on. Got to do some more hurry up offense. We're driving downfield. We have to score first. Absolutely have to. Here we go. Travis looking to pass. No one's open. No one's open. Looking to pass. Shedding a sack. We just had nothing. Oh boy. Coming in. I knew this was going to be tough, but I can tell this is going to be a long game. Here we go. Jordan looking to pass. Down the right sideline. He's open. Andrew. Please. Oh, my goodness. All right, defense. Let's show these Gators what we're made of. Oh, boy. Here we go. Hand off to the left side. <laughs> first down. This is going to be tough. Already first down about midfield. Over to the left side. Good for six yards. Yeah, the Gators are 10 and 1 for a reason. Here we go. Here's a snap. Hand off up the middle. Loss of three. All right. Here we go. Third down. This is a big spot. Our defense needs to make a stop. Quick throw to the right side. Someone make a stop and we will. Oh my goodness. Crowd on their feet. This is a tough one. Hand off to the left side. Lawrence is going to get a couple. He's going to shut a tackle and he's got the first down. That shuts the crowd up. Looking probably for Wilson or Wilson here. <laughs> See what I did there? Looking for Wilson on the right side. He drops it. Come on. In one of the biggest rival games. Come on. Here we go. Looking for Corbin. He makes a catch. Trying to push his way. This is probably the most crazy decision I've made. We're about midfield. Fourth down and four. In Gator territory. At home. Or at their home. And we don't get the first down. Second down, Jones looking to pass. Oh, he's going to run into a sack. All right, let's go, Thomas. Now, third and long for the Gators. We're looking to get the ball back before the half because they get it after. Here we go. We need a big stop. Blitzing under pressure to left. No good. Call timeout. Let's get the ball back. Oh, they're going to go for it. They're going to go for it. Oh my gosh, he tripped. He faked me. I was not expecting that, and he tripped over one of our defensive players. If you couldn't tell, I was whistling the Go Gators chant. I'm not a Gators fan in real life, but it's catchy. And then that happened. Out of absolutely nowhere. Hand off to the right side. Warren sheds a tackle, and he's going to push his way for five yards. All right. This is what the Gators do. Like, they're good. <laughs> this is the toughest team ever. Looking for Andrew. Deep downfield. Hilton. It's not Andrew. It's Hilton. And he gets a 69-yard touchdown. Nice. Let's go, baby. That shuts the crowd up. 
I thought it was Andrew. It was Hilton. He was wide open. Oh my gosh, that was so needed. Now, if we stop them again, we potentially could have a chance to go up by two touchdowns or at least a touchdown and a field goal. Here we go. Look at the pass over to the left. Almost sacked. 41 seconds. We called a timeout. Third and seven. Could we get the ball back? Ah, we'll see, I guess. Here we go. Jones looking to pass up the middle. That's a first down. Here we go. Jones gets the snap. Looking to pass over to the left. He is going to get the first down, I believe. And he will. They're not going to try and settle for a field goal. 20 seconds left. Time is ticking down. Here we go. Jones gets the snap. He's under pressure. Throwing up the middle. Four yards. Why are they not calling a timeout? Nine seconds. Time is ticking down. They're taking forever. This should be the last play of the, the first half. And it will. No. One second. And they're going to go for a field goal. Why are you not going for a touchdown here? Tie the game up. Oh my gosh. This is this is weird. And we are at halftime here in Gainesville. Florida State has the lead. 7-3 is your score. Looking for a big upset. Can we pull it off? Second out and long. Hand off to the left again. Gainer is there. Another loss. Oh, do you hear that, guys? That's funny. The crowd is quiet all of a sudden. I wonder why that is. Third and 14. Look at it pass. Over to the left. Stiff arm out of bounds. Fourth and 11. And that's how the Gators start the second half. We have all the momentum right now. And we might be able to pull this off. Hand off to the left side. Gain of a couple. Lawrence gets six. And as you can see, we split it up. Eight rushing, eight passing. Looking for a touchdown here. Here we go. Looking to pass. Wilson is open. He holds on. What a catch. 25 yards. And Lawrence is injured. That is not good. Read option. Travis keeps it himself. He's still on his feet. Gain of eight from Travis. Third and three. Looking for another touchdown here. Big loss. Giving up. Lawrence. Travis is going to lose three. Yikes. This is not good for us. We're going to go for the field goal. And it is up and good. We have to go for it. Because if we don't convert there on fourth down and they get a touchdown, potentially game over. And that's the end of the third quarter. Florida State in command here in Gainesville. Clutch skill activated. I don't like the sounds of that. Three minutes remaining. Second down and six. QB keeps it. And he's going to be short. If there's a better time to step up, it's right now. Third and inches. There we go. Play action. Look at a pass. QB under pressure. Throwing to the left side. Almost intercepted. But it's fourth and inches. They have to go for it. If only we intercepted that. A big stop here could potentially win us the game. Fourth and inches. Jones. Quick snap. Passing on the run. It's completed. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Jones passing. He's just going to throw it away. Too much pressure for him. We got to start stepping up again. Two minutes left. Pitch over to the left. We were ready. Gainer makes the tackle. That stops the clock. Third down and six. One for five on third down. Got to make it stop. Jones passing to the left. Or the right, I mean. And that's a touchdown. I think the best strategy here is run the ball a little bit and just a couple quick passes. We can't do anything crazy. Corbin over to the right. Loss of two. Oh, boy. Time taking under a minute remaining. Third down and one. Crowd is silent. Now they're not. But we're looking for something big. Looking for a miracle. Looking. Throwing on the run. Downfield deep. Oh, batted down. This is terrifying. Fourth and one potentially. If we don't get this, game over. That's why I'm thinking. Here we go. Hand off. Up the middle. Corbin. First down. That right there shut the crowd up. 
Now, not again. All right, whatever. I'm going to stop that. But here we go. First down. Look at the pass. Hilton, it's open. One defender to miss again. He is in. Touchdown, Keyshawn Hilton. Oh, my gosh. We might have just pulled off a massive upset. The defender was confused again. And when they realized it was too late, 34 seconds. Gotta pull off a miracle. Jones looking to pass. He's under pressure. Almost intercepted. Jones looking to pass again. Over to the left. Oh no, he's wide open. Finally tackled. Oh boy. Alrighty then. 24 seconds. They're past midfield now. Getting a little scary. I'm not panicking though. Jones looking to pass up the middle. Completed another timeout. What are the Gators doing? Why were they running the ball? Third down and long. They just messed up. Jones looking to pass over to the left. Er, that's the right side, but incomplete. Last play of the game. Fourth and long. This is for the game. They're hoping to force overtime. Passing to the right. Intercepted. This game is over here in Gangsville. And we pull off one of the biggest upsets of the season. Oh my goodness. And the state is ran by the Florida State Seminoles. Hilton is a hero. Jordan Travis showed up today. 7 for 12, 223 yards, 2 touchdowns, no interceptions. Longest pass of the day was 69 yards. Nice. Rushing. We were able to run the ball just a little bit. 5 for 33 from Lawrence. What a game. And receiving. This is where we killed them. Hilton. 2 for 132 with 2 touchdowns. 69 yards was his longest reception. Nice. And that's what saved us. Hilton. And defensively. It was tough. I mean, we got a sack. A couple tackles for a loss. But overall, what a crazy game. If this doesn't get some recruits, I don't know what will. What a big victory over the 10 and now 2 Florida Gators. Oh boy. We still have a battle for Anthony Fields. A lot of guys scheduled to visit. A couple guys locked us out. And that should be about it. And we will advance to the conference championship, which I don't think we're in. Still fighting for fields. Still fighting for a couple other guys. And we got three guys that locked us out. And Ray has committed to Miami. That's actually shocking. And we are actually ranked. I didn't even notice that we were number 24, but we're number 23 now. Oh my gosh, that is incredible. We'll go ahead and take a look at season stats. 18 touchdowns from Jordan Travis this year. 11 interceptions, 14 total on the year from me. <laughs> That's not fun. 1,800 plus total passing yards. McKenzie Milton did good for the games that he played in. As far as rushing, Lawrence was pretty great this year. I mean, five touchdowns, 89 was his longest rush of the year Corbin was pretty good 41 for 207 Travis 63 for 127 receiving I mean I knew Helton would be up there Keyshawn Helton five touchdowns 695 yards this was the game that he was able to pass Wilson in total yards he stepped up in the last three or four weeks and Wilson made a couple drops the last few but he was 25 for 597 seven touchdowns led the team in touchdowns andrew following them with 24 for 429 three touchdowns and three from cameron mcdonald he was 13 for 186 and defensively 19 tackles for loss and eight sacks from Kier thomas he's a senior it's gonna be near impossible to replace someone like him amari gainer right behind him with 13 tackles for loss only one sack on the year but he was great four sacks from brendan gant 
Also, eight tackles for loss, and I believe one interception on the year as well. He was incredible. Most interceptions on the year was Lundy was two, and a couple others spread out along the defense as well. Kick return, Travis J was just a cornerback. That's crazy that he's a returner. 29 for 728 yards. And punting, he was 13 for 147. Oh! I'm dumb. We didn't make the postseason, but we made the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. All right. Let's go. That's that's pretty exciting. We will face USC. They're 6-6 six and six on the year. We're number 20. I mean, we in one season going from not ranked to number 20, 8-4 on the year. This was a great season. I'm so excited. Seniors hoping to end their careers with a big bull win can we pull it off make sure you stick around subscribe down below and then stay tuned for the off season coming off a massive win and a massive upset over the florida gators we are now in the bowl game and we are playing usc this should be a good one. Oh man we gotta win this and keep on getting the recruits coming in can we pull it off and we are ready for the bowl game I'm not even sure where we are, to be honest, like what state or whatever. We're going to pass to Helton on the first play. He's open. Juke some guys out, and he gets 32 on the first play of the game. Keyshawn Hilton is a weapon on this team. He's going to be a big factor in winning this game. So is Andrew. Andrew is still really good, and we're going to throw to him. Almost intercepted. Here we go. Second down now. Read option. Corbin gets it. He's going to spin. He's going to miss the tackle. He's down the sideline. 21 yards. This offense is dominating. We really only made one good throw. The rest has been running. So third down and six. We're going to hand it off. Trust our running back in blocks. Hand off up the middle. Corbin, touchdown. And that's why you trust your offense and your best players. Just like that, we take it early. 7-0 lead, pending the extra point against USC. Here we go, second down. Dart looking to pass, throwing it away again. Now third down for the Trojans. Here we go, Dart looking to pass. He's under pressure again, and he's going to be sacked. Here we go, first down, handoff to the left side. We got some blocks. Lawrence up the field, six yards. I mean, this team is just dominant, and they're stepping up today. Here we go, handoff to the right. Oh, we did not have blocks there. We're going for it though. Here we go, fourth down and six. Gotta go for it, just because, why not? Look at the pass. Ah, oh, I was under pressure. I just, I had no thing there. 49 just got to me right away. Trojans looking to score. Dart over to the left. And that's the first down and more. Dent is going to push him out of bounds, and Trojans are striking. Here we go. Dart looking to pass. He's under pressure. Almost intercepted. Oh, boy. Here we go. First and goal. Dart looking to pass over to the right. And we're tied back up. Here we go. Trying to at least retake the lead here. Travis looking to pass. He's just going to scramble. We got space down the sideline. I could have thrown it to whoever was on the right side. I believe it might have been Andrew. But I think I... I don't know if I could have completed that. There we go. First down. We're going to fumble it. We're going to recover it, though. But that's a big loss. Oh, my gosh. We don't want them to get the ball back before the half. At least with it being tied. And that's intercepted. Arm punt, I guess you can call this. Our defense just started here. Here we go. Oh, most sacked. First down, a little past the 30. Here we go. Dart looking to pass. He's under pressure, and he's going to be brought down for a loss of six. Third and 16. Dart looking to pass. Up the middle. Incomplete, and they should go for a field goal here, and we might have time to retake the lead. I mean, I get it, but fourth and 16, it's going to be hard. Here we go. Dart looking to pass. He's under pressure. Shuts one sack. He's going to fumble the ball. They'll recover. It doesn't matter. That was on fourth down, and we get the ball back. 
our defense absolutely dominated right there. Now we have to dominate on offense. Here we go. Look at the pass. I'm going to throw to Helton. He's open. He's going to make the catch. 47 yards in one play. Keyshawn Hilton is always wide open. I don't understand what it is about him, but nobody covers him. Here we go. First down. Looking for the end zone. McDonald. Touchdown. I didn't think he would get in, but he pushed his way enough, I think. And then he just teleported. Second down and two for the Trojans. They're trying to at least... Get a field goal before the half. Look at the pass. He's going to be sacked again. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Third down. Time taking down. Trojans look at the pass. Over to the right, and that's a first down. A bunch of jukes. Oh, boy. Hurry up offense from the Trojans. Here we go. Eight seconds. Time is ticking down. Should be the last play. And he's going to be sacked again. Final timeout. Second down and 18. This is the last chance for them to tie it up before the half. Look at the pass. Downfield deep. Almost intercepted. And we are heading into halftime. This defense is dominating. We got to score a little bit more. I'm not happy with the one touchdown lead at the half. But a solid game so far. Five sacks on the day. What a performance from our defense. Probably the most sacks we've had in a single game this season. Could definitely get a record. Here we go. Passing up the middle. Seven yards. Second down now. Hand off to the left. He's going nowhere. That was their first rushing play of the game. Now third and 11. USC cannot move the ball. Here we go. Look at a pass. Under pressure. We got to the quarterback, but a little late. Fourth and four. We'll get the ball back unless they go for it. They will not go for it. They're about midfield. You have to go for it in this spot. Here we go. Looking to make this out of reach. Passing to the left. Oh, Helton holds on. I thought that was intercepted. All right. Oh, no. I think Travis. I think Jordan Travis got injured on that play. Mackenzie Milton into the game. Look at a pass. Nobody's open. I'm going to air it downfield deep. It is batted down, but... Losing Jordan Travis in this game is, would not be good. We're going to hand it off. We're going to hand it up the middle, and it looks like he will return soon, Jordan Travis. So we'll see what happens. Hand off up the middle. We got blocks. Corbin got the first down. Here we go. First down, just about midfield. Looking to pass. Looking over to the right side. Oh, is that intercepted? And Jordan Travis is already back. That's really good news. Now, second down. I guess that was not an interception. Handoff to the right side. We got blocks again. Corbin got the outside. Getting a five. Third and five. Handoff to the right side. We got blocks again. And we got another first down. We've only been able to run it in this game. Anytime we pass, no one's able to hold on. It's really getting annoying. Looking over to the sideline. It's... Good for a touchdown. Oh my gosh. I saw Wilson have a step and it was just to him. Touchdown. As of right now, this is the best game we've played all season. Here we go. Should be the last play of the third quarter and it will be two yards from the Trojans. Second down and eight. Dart looking to pass under pressure. Just throwing it into the grass. Good job. I'm shocked we haven't had an interception yet. Here we go. Dart passing to the left. That almost was, but it's fourth and five. Pass midfield. Dart look at a pass over to the right into the turf. Right throw. Third down and ten from USC. Looking. And the QB will try to take you up the middle. He is stopped. And they have to go for it again. Yeah, they are not able to move the ball. On fourth down, they're one for two today. Here we go. Dart, under pressure, thrown to the right. Oh, you have to intercept that. Doesn't matter. We get the ball back regardless. They feel like they have a chance still, but even if they get the ball again, I don't think they're able to score. 
and Andrew seals the game pretty much there. I mean, a minute 44 left, down by two touchdowns. Potentially might go down by three here in a second. Travis looking to pass. He's going to air the ball downfield deep. Under pressure, he gets the ball away. Wilson, 33 yards, first and goal. And we're going to just keep on adding points. Here we go. Handoff up the middle. Corbin is pushing his way in for the touchdown. Are you kidding me? What a rush by Corbin. I mean, he, I don't know how he was able to do that. By the way, USC has zero timeouts remaining. So just like that, they have a minute 16 on the clock. Second down, Dart looking to pass over to the right. Another dropped interception. Come on, guys. Here we go. Look at a pass. QB under pressure and sack. Call timeout. Look at a pass. He's going to throw it downfield deep. Oh. I mean, whatever happens here really doesn't matter. But I'd like to score another touchdown just for the heck of it. Passing. Hilton cannot hold on. Great diving try, though. And for no reason, we're going for it. We're about midfield. Who really cares? Fourth down and eight. Under a minute remaining. Passing. Hilton. Or no, that's Andrew. First down, though. Going to pass over the middle. Andrew, another first down. Looking to score a TD here. Travis gets a snap. Looking for the end zone. To the side, Hilton. Hurry up, offense. First and goal. Looking for another touchdown just to kill them a little bit more here in the bowl game. Travis looking to pass. Looking for the end zone. Over to the right side. Helton touchdown. There's a flag though. Offside. Defense. And we'll decline it. Touchdown. 35 to 7. And time will expire. Florida State has won the bowl game. And they are carrying Coach Harrison Sawyer. What a game from Jordan Travis. What a game from this entire team. The last three games have been dominant. Jordan Travis was 11 for 20, 263 yards, three touchdowns, only one interception. Rushing Corbin 10 for 63, two touchdowns today from him. As far as receiving Hilton, as always, five for 107, one touchdown. Touchdown for Wilson, touchdown for McDonald. Everyone got involved. And Andrew at the end, three for 67. Only two total drops in this game. And defensively, I mean... Jermaine Johnson killed them today. Uh, we got Dennis Briggs, a sack. A sack from Lovett. A sack from Thomas. Six total sacks. No interceptions. And a bunch of tackles for loss. What a great game. And just like that, a big win for the Sun Bowl. That was awesome. I mean, that was a big win. 9-4 on the season. 35-7 to is your final. And I don't know. I don't think we made the postseason or anything, even with that bowl win. We'll have to find out and see, I guess. But it would be crazy if we did. And we are now number 19. We did not make the postseason because I probably was supposed to do something for the mod. I don't exactly know. I'm going to have to research it and see We'll go ahead and sim to the end of the season, though. We got another lock out. A couple, actually. And still some battles going on. Bunch of coach XP as well. And just like that, a really, really great season. I mean, you can see 2012, we were 12-2. and two. This year, 9-4. and four. Well, that's only because it's more of a 2022 roster. Then 2013. Welcome back to some more Florida State Dynasty. We got the offseason coming at you. And we're going to start things off with players leaving. We got a wide receiver transferring to Arkansas. Another transferring to Memphis. One transferring to Mississippi, Auburn, and Pro Drive. I wish Jermaine Johnson good luck, but 95 overall, that sucks to leave him. And we got Kier Thomas leaving, Jordan Wilson, Bavion Johnson, Andrew. He's been a really good wide receiver for us. He's graduating. A couple other guys, Mackenzie Milton graduating. Sucks to see him leave. Draft results. And we got Jermaine Johnson going round one. Congratulations to him. 
still fighting for Anthony and a couple other guys as well as a couple lockouts. Sucks to see that. So now that we're in the offseason, we're going to go full force for Anthony Fields. I guess we'll start with 1600 I know that's a lot, but we need him. Heath Adams looks pretty decent. Defensive end, 60 overall. We'll go ahead and put some points into him. So this is how our points look for the offseason. 1200 into Jared Foster, 69 overall. Nice. 1100 for wide receiver Mike Barber. Not bad. 1500 for Fields. Tyler Bates, 1000. Rob, 1500. 1500 for Heath. 1035 for Brett. And 1115 for Tim Garcia. A couple other guys that I'll go ahead and recruit later on, but. Some of them were kind of close on. We have the lead on Kevin, so we'll see what happens. Anthony Fields has committed to Georgia Tech. Jared to Oklahoma. Virginia takes Tyler Bates. We're fighting for Rob. And it looks like Heath committed to Clemson. Tim to Colorado State. Nobody wants to come over here. Kenny. Okay. We got another commit. Cornerback. He looks all right, but... Uh, okay, John Chambers as well. Brett Nelson as well. Paul Washington, a 50 overall quarterback. He's not going to see any time. Neither will Ross. This is going to be tough. Apparently, we need to cut five guys. No way are we cutting any of these really high guys. Mm, we're going to have to make some tough decisions. Alright, I think I'm going to try and cut Paul Washington. I mean, he's a 55 overall. We're not going to need him. We got Travis. We got Roadmaker. Barnes. Halfback. We got Corbin. We got Lawrence. Anyone else? I mean, we don't need him. He's a bust, apparently. Oh, boy. We have a lot of wide receivers. I mean, I guess Walter. I mean, only like a 50-something overall. A 49 overall left guard. Yeah, goodbye. And a 47 overall right guard. And that is that. Some tough decisions, but we got it done. So, the first game of the season is going to be against number 20, Auburn. And then the second game of the year is against number 11, Arizona State. Then we got Duke, number 25, NC State, Georgia Tech, Syracuse, Virginia Tech, Georgia, number 2. Number four, Clemson, Wake Forest, Boston College, and then number six, Florida. Yeah, this is one of the toughest schedules. It's going to be insane this year. So from the preseason votes, we're apparently number 26. And we're playing number 20, Auburn, in the first game of the year. And to end off the video, we are going to go ahead and start some recruiting so these are the brand new recruits that we are going to go after. A lot of them were in the lead for or were in second place or even third. The lowest is around fifth for the recruits. So we have a good chance on getting a lot of these four and five star recruits. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I know this is probably a bit of a shorter video, but make sure you guys stick around. Subscribe if you haven't already because we are playing number 20, Auburn. In the first game of the season, it's going to be a really hard game. And I don't know. We lost a lot of key pieces, especially on defense. So we got to start recruiting and we got to start getting a lot of new guys. Hopefully we have another good season. Make sure you stick around. Subscribe down below. Thank you for watching. I will catch you guys in my next one. <laughs>